Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mantis Bug Tracker in your localhost. So I have Bitnami Windows stack installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download Mantis Bug Tracker from official website. So this is 2.0 version and clicking on download page will take me to SourceForge link. Okay, now when when I click on this, it will download the stable. If you want to download the current version, you can choose nightly build. Okay, so let's click on this link. It should take us to Mathis stable. And here is your source forge page. You can choose to download the latest version or the version which is recently stable so 1.3.5 or 2.0 okay so let's start download this zip on your desktop and once you download you have to open it and copy this mattis pt folder to your vamp htdocs so in my case this is the htdocs folder i have copied this mantis bt folder here and now i'm going to open that path okay so i'm going to type in 127.0.0.1 then slash mantis bt then admin then install.php okay so keep in mind this address which is basically your local host or server domain then slash mantis pt then slash admin then slash install dot php okay then it will go for pre-installation check it will check if it is compatible with your local host version okay now it will also give you option for installation you can choose mysql or any other database you can choose your local host server then type in your username Next thing, you have to type the password. In my case, my password is here. Then name of database, it will choose bug tracker as database name. And if you want any specific admin username, then you can choose that as well. You can choose, I'm going to choose Mahesh and then password as well, okay? Now we have our table prefix, then plugin table, and suffix okay also there is going to be time zone you can choose any time zone of your choice and after that you can select print sql queries instead of writing to database this is needed if you want to perform those operation instead of letting installer to do that or you want to choose to do through installer okay so i'm going to let installer do this and I'm going to click on install upgrade database. Okay, now that screen is going to display me this message that everything went correctly and it shows you good, good, good. And if it shows any problem, such as in this case, you'll find that setting admin password, it will ask you to have password of your table instead. So here, you have to use database user password for logging into your Mantis BT administrator. Okay, you can go to the bottom. Here you can see login page. So the path is ma slash Mantis BT slash login underscore page dot PHP. So you get the idea that how to install Mantis bug tracker in your localhost windows server.